Are you still typing into ChatGPT like it's 2023? What if I told you the real breakthrough feature isn't text-based at all? Most people are sleeping on the most human-like version of AI that exists today. You're missing out on real-time coaching, instant brainstorming, and live sales role plays, all without touching keyboard. If you're not using advanced voice mode, you're not even scratching the surface of what ChatGPT can do. Let me show you how this one underrated feature is quietly revolutionizing the way high performers use AI every day. Hey there, I'm Jake Dawson, and around here we keep AI sales automation simple, practical, and actually useful. I've helped a bunch of businesses set up voice AI tools in all sorts of industries, and I've spent way too many hours playing with ChatGPT's advanced voice mode to figure out what actually works in the real world. Now today, I'm gonna show you five super practical ways to use ChatGPT's voice mode that go way beyond just asking it random questions. Now look, this isn't one of those, hey, look what AI can do type of things where you can ask it to tell a joke or read you a bedtime story. This is about using voice AI to actually get stuff done. All right, let's get into it. Grab a coffee, maybe a snack, and let's check out the first way you can start using Using this right away. So picture this, you're in a meeting and instead of scrambling and taking notes to remember what someone said 10 minutes ago, you've just got ChatGPT sitting quietly in the background, listening, not interrupting, just chilling. And when you need it, you say something like, hey ChatGPT, can you give us a quick summary, the key takeaways so far? Boom. It gives you a breakdown on the spot, no waiting around, no I'll circle back later nonsense. Look, this works because advanced voice mode isn't just hearing the words, it's actually understanding what's being said, the context, the emotion. It follows along like someone who's actually paying attention, you know, not that one coworker that's always secretly checking their socials. Now, here's how you set it up. When you first start using it, go into the custom instructions and tell it something like, during meetings, stay silent unless asked to speak. Just give a soft mm-hmm to let me know that you're listening. That way it's not awkwardly jumping in when no one asks, but it's ready the second you need input. Kind of like the world's most polite intern. Let me give you a real world example. Last week I was in a marketing brainstorm with a client and halfway through I said, ChatGPT, based on everything we talked about so far, give us three creative angles we haven't mentioned yet. It instantly came back with three solid ideas. One of them ended up becoming the hook for the client's next campaign. No joke, it saved us at least 45 minutes of circling around the same ideas. All right, now onto the second one. And this one's seriously underrated. Using voice mode as your personal business coach. And I, I know, it sounds a little weird. At first, it's like, you want me to talk to a robot about my pricing strategy? But trust me, it works way better than you'd expect. Here's the magic. When you're talking out loud, your brain processes stuff differently. You're more open, more honest, and, and you start thinking through problems in a new way. And ChatGPT doesn't just nod along, it challenges your thinking. It asks smart follow-up questions, and it helps you look at things from different angles. So let's say you're stuck on how to price a new offer. You just start talking it out. Okay, I'm thinking of charging $2.99, but I'm not sure if that's too high for my audience. And ChatGPT might come back with something like, well, what data do you have to support the price? Have you considered tiered pricing? Now, all of a sudden, you're not just talking to yourself. You're having an actual strategic conversation. To make this work well, I recommend setting up your background info first in the custom instructions. Just add a few lines about your business, like what you sell, your typical customers, and any goals or pain points that you're dealing with. That way, when you start talking, it's already up to speed and it doesn't need a whole backstory every time. And the best part, it actually picks up on your tone. If you're feeling stuck or frustrated, it can adjust how it responds. And I had one time where I was venting about a client situation and instead of just giving a dry answer, it replied with, hey, that sounds like a tough spot. Wanna walk through a few options together? Like that level of emotional intelligence in a piece of software, kind of freaky, but also super helpful. All right, now let's talk about something super useful creating and reviewing content in real time just by talking. So imagine this, you're pacing around the house, you're getting ready for a big pitch, or maybe you're walking the dog and an idea hits you. With advanced voice mode, you don't have to stop what you're doing and start typing like a maniac. You can just talk through your ideas, your sales script, even your YouTube intro, and ChatGPT will help you shape it on the fly. Let's say you're practicing a sales pitch. You actually ask it, hey ChatGPT, how did that sound? Was I clear when I explained the pricing or even 
even better, did I sound confident during the financial section? Or did I trail off like I wasn't sure? And it won't just say, yeah, sounds good, like a fake friend would. It picks up on your actual tone, your pacing, your energy, and it gives you honest feedback that you can use to actually get better. This is huge for someone who creates a lot of content or speaks to clients regularly. I use this actually to practice my video scripts all the time. Sometimes I'm halfway through reading one and I'll stop and say, hey, was that intro too fast? And it'll say something like, well, your energy was solid, but you rushed the call to action. And now, if you're in sales, this next one's going to be your secret weapon. Advanced voice mode is amazing for prepping for big calls. So instead of staring at a document full of objections and trying to memorize rebuttals and responses, you can just talk it through. Say, okay, play the role of a tough CFO who thinks we're overpriced. Hit me with some pushback and boom, it's game time. It'll give you real objections. Like I'm not seeing how this justifies the cost. What's the ROI here? And now you're in it, practicing in real time, sharpening your responses, adjusting your tone and getting way more confident before the actual call. And the cool part is, is you can switch up who you're talking to on the fly. If you wanted to act like a techie CTO who asks super detailed questions, done. Need to prep for someone who's super hype but needs help connecting the dots? It can do that too. It's like having a full cast of practice partners in your pocket and none of them cancel last minute. Plus, because it's voice-based, the practice feels real. You're actually talking and thinking in the moment, which helps so much more than reading answers off of a screen. All right, next let's talk about project management. Let's say you're deep in a project. Maybe you're reviewing the document, planning out a launch, or you just need to get your head around a dozen moving parts. Normally you'd have to stop, open up a new tab, type something out, maybe lose your place, and boom, there goes your flow. But with advanced voice mode, you can literally just say what you need and ChatGPT handles it while you keep doing your thing. Or let's say you're reviewing a proposal and something jumps out. Instead of stopping to jot it down, you just say, Hey, ChatGPT, remind me to follow up with the marketing team about the campaign timeline. Done. No distractions, no breaking your focus, and there, you're making decisions faster without bouncing between a dozen different apps or tabs. I actually use this all the time when I'm mapping out content or project ideas. I just talk through it while walking around or staring out the window like I'm in some Netflix docu-series. All right, but for real, ChatGPT, create a quick list of action items for this launch. Prep the emails, update the sales page, record the walkthrough video, and it captures everything while I stay in that creative headspace. It's kind of like unlocking an extra brain that's always ready to organize your chaos, but it doesn't judge your to-do list that's three weeks behind. And hey, don't overthink the setup. All you really need is to keep ChatGPT open and listening while you're working. Give it clear, simple commands, and the more specific you are, the better it gets. You don't need to speak in fancy instructions or robotic language. Just talk to it like you would a teammate, a very fast, very helpful teammate who never takes a sick day. And look, it's not flawless. I mean, let's be honest, there's still that one hour daily limit which can be kind of annoying if you're in the middle of some long work session. And yeah, sometimes it totally misunderstands what you're saying, especially if you're using weird industry jargon or talking really fast like you just slammed a double espresso. But honestly, that stuff's small potatoes compared to how much this can actually help you. The way I see it, the real power of advanced voice mode isn't that you can just talk instead of type, it's that you can finally work with AI in a way that feels more natural. It's not you using a tool, it's like teaming up with one. You get to think out loud, talk through ideas, and get instant feedback in a way that actually feels collaborative. It's kind of wild when you realize how big of a shift that is. And if you're someone who runs a business, manages a team, or just wants to get more done without feeling like you're juggling 47 tabs a day, this is your moment. Voice-based AI isn't just some flashy new feature. It's where the future of work is headed right now. And the people who start using it now, they're going to have a serious edge when it comes to speed, creativity, and making smart calls without burning out. So if you're watching this thinking, yeah, this could actually save me a ton of time, you're right. Start small, use it during your next team meeting, or talk through that decision that you've been stuck on. You don't need to change your whole workflow overnight. Just give it a shot and see where it fits in. And look, once you do, trust me, it's hard to go back. Okay, now I'm curious. How are you using voice AI right now in your business? Have you tried any of these setups with ChatGPT's advanced voice mode yet? Maybe you're, you've used it in meetings or you've tried role play before, maybe before a big sales call or just talk through your to-do list while you're juggling everything else that life throws at you. Look, whatever you're doing, drop your experience in the comments. I'd seriously would love to hear it. I get some of my best ideas from this community. And if you found this helpful, 
go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I post new videos every week with practical ways to use AI tools to work smarter, not harder, no fluff, no buzzwords, just real stuff that helps you save time and gets ahead. Also, if you wanna go deeper, I've got a private community over at school where we talk about this stuff every single day. We share automation templates, real use cases, new tools, and I walk through exactly how to build these systems step by step. If you're serious about bringing AI into your workflow, or you just want to shortcut the learning curve, it's the best place to be. You'll find the link below. Let's keep pushing. Oh, and before you click away, here's another video you'll probably want to watch next. It's packed with even more tips to help you crush it with AI. I'll see you there.